Hey guys, it's Chris here at Engine. In this week's video, we'll be giving you guys an overview of Engine's new beta release for our brand new menu system, Menu 2.0. Our new menu system is literally jam-packed with features, and we'll be trying to give you a quick overview of the important ones throughout this video. Please note, at the time of recording, the menu release is still in beta, so there may be bugs. If you see any, make sure to report them on our official announcement thread on the Engine forums. Ok, with that cleared up and without further ado, let's get started on our video overview. As you can see, we've placed a quick example on top of our web page. The new menu system is more streamlined, flexible and completely customizable in terms of design. To get started creating your new menus, you need to head over to Admin and then Modules. You'll find the new Menu 2.0 module under the Menu section. We've already created some example menus for this video tutorial, so we'll go ahead and just click Edit. From here you'll see a huge range of tabs, giving you a quick indication of the flexibility on offer. We have a menu manager section, a style editor, a widget section, a CSS section and a theme manager section. The theme manager section isn't open to normal users however. This is where Engine creates all the amazing preset themes for you guys, so sadly only staff can see this section. First we'll head over to the menu manager section. This is where you'll create and structure your menu items. From here you can see any created menus, the links associated and the view access. To get started, just click Create Menu Item at the top. From the Create window you'll need to enter some details about your new menu item. For this video tutorial we'll call our example item Store and we'll have it linked to our default donation store page. After you've specified your name and link you can also set the view access, as well as specifying how you'd like the menu item to open. A really cool feature of Menu 2.0 is the ability to add images or icons to your menu items. You can upload your own custom images or choose from our huge high quality gallery. For this video tutorial and to keep things simple, we'll just quickly choose an icon from our gallery. If you'd like just your images and icons displayed on your menu item, make sure to check the option Disable Menu Text. And last but not least, you'll need to specify the type of menu item you'd like to create. Menu 2.0 currently offers the ability to create menu items, submenu items, division lines and HTML submenus. After you have all the information just click create item. From the menu manager it's also really easy to organize your items. We have a quick edit option, an option to make the menu item a parent or child submenu, as well as an option to clone the menu item including the permissions, images and links attached. You can also easily organise your menu items by clicking and dragging. Once you have your menu item set up, you may want to customise the design. For this, you need to head over to the Style Editor tab. This section offers a massive amount of design options, and allows you to preview changes and edit your menu in real time. Just click on a menu item to begin editing, or make use of the little toggle button to get a better design perspective. From the Style Selector section you can choose your menu to be fixed or contained, as well as the ability to load preset and save themes. From the Style Editor you can change almost every aspect of your menu design. Included but not limited to, gradients, colours, fonts, images, dimensions and even effects. There is literally so much to cover in terms of this section, we recommend you head out and have a play with all the settings yourself, as there's just far too much information to cover in one video tutorial. The third tab we're going to visit is the widget section. This section is really interesting and unique, it allows you to add modules and dynamic content to your menu. To get started adding functionality, just click create widget. From here you'll be able to choose from a range of widgets. Since our site is now missing an admin dropdown and login function, we're going to add these widgets to our menu. Once added, widgets will default to the right side column, and if you'd like to edit them, just click them on the preview window. If you'd like to shift them to the left side column, just click the little arrow button. To remove widgets, just click the little cross icon. We'll show you a few more cool things you can do with menus and widgets later, but for now let's head over to the CSS section. This section is only for the adventurous of you, and allows you to custom code your menu from scratch. Clicking to enable the CSS on your menu will disable all styles in the style editor. 
Make sure you back up and save any styles you have in the style editor and only use this section if you're comfortable with coding and design. And that's it. We've covered all the basics included in our new Menu 2.0 beta release. As a quick bonus and before we head out, we'll show you something really cool you can do with two or more of our menu modules. If we head over to Admin and then Pages, we can see our main menu module located in the global header section of the web pages. This menu contains our menu links and is positioned as a fixed top which allows content to scroll beneath it. Since including widgets and menu items on one menu can get quite cluttered, you can add two fixed top menus on top of one another containing both these items. We've gone ahead and created a second fixed top menu item which contains just our widgets. This will be placed just above our first menu module which contains just our menu items. If we head over to our website and take a look, we can see these two menus in action. As you can see, both menu items and widgets are separated on two different menu modules, but remain stuck together due to the positioning being fixed top. And that's it. We hope you've enjoyed this quick video overview of our Menu 2.0 beta release. If you have any feedback, comments or bug reports, head over to our official announcement thread. And of course, if you need any support, send in a support form. All links included in the video description.